So, you know, you've got the um, Avril Falcon Delta Wing Bomber, and you want to make a couple of wheels for it. Well, you know, I don't go buying lathes and all the equipment to do small parts when I'm stuck. I just find ways around it, and I just want to show you my way around it. I'm sure I'm going to get thumbs down for this again, like I always do when I do these things. But hey, you know, some of us don't go throwing out a thousand bucks to make one wheel or two wheels. So, eh, you know, whatever suits your fancy, right? And you know, I was in an apprenticeship and I was fairly precise in my day, but there are moments where, you know, you do get carried away with how precise you have to be. So, um, I mean, it's life. So, you know, everybody has elements, nobody's perfect, and you never get it really perfect, you get it really close. So, that's what we do. Yeah, so I have the bench, and I have a piece of tin here. i to try to get it somewhere in the center of this camera thing. And there's the little wheel that I'm making. And I took it out of a square aluminum and filed it round a bit, and then, you know, did what I'm doing now. But I wanted to show you guys how to do this. Is this the one yet? Is that the one? That looks really wide still too. Well, let's do this one first. There's the wheel. I'm just using a pliers to show you guys, and I'm putting the nail down through the wheel through a bit of piece of tin, and hammering it into my wooden bench. There you go. It's called the poor man's lathe. Yeah, so I just ground a little bit of the nail head off, so it's out of the way a bit when I'm coming in. And here we go. Dremel on. Take your file and press down on the top here so it doesn't shoot up. Look at her fly around. Getting more around. Now she's round. When it gets round, it takes off and just keeps going. And I need it about around just 6.2 about. And I'm at six somethings, just just six, a little bit under. And now it has to go flatter because it's too high. These are only like a millimeter and a half, and that's two mil. So we take her again, and I face it down this time. And I'm going to take my triangle file so I can try to get an edge on this too. Getting close. So there you go, that's how I'm making the wheels. It's pretty close. Poor man's lathe. So after I finished doing the, the famous drilling, I'll take the white out of there so it's not so bad. Bring some gray over here so you see better. There. That I take the little wheel here and I just give it a little, little rub with the file. You want to get that kind of Here's one here. I'll put it on the white so you can see it. What you want to get is that round little edge here that they have. I mean, it looks really old. It is. You know, it looks nearly as old as the other one. So there you go. There they're done. There's the two originals. And there's the two, for, for the back, the two sets. This was on the back, but I'll put it in the front now and put the two sets, new ones, on the two back ones on the uh, Avro Vulcan. So I'm going to use these copper nails that are actually um, from framing, for framing pictures, because they're a little softer to flatten the ends. Now, I put the two... Um, Original wheels on the front here. I'm going to show you how I flatten. I take a, a vice grips. It has a flat nose on top here. 
it's been used a lot and then I bring it in here on this side and press now sometimes it flattens a lot sometimes it doesn't the first time can you see that there now it went all the way in and I let go it flattened but not much yeah it did see it's not coming out anymore but now I'll do it a second time in tight and a little harder there mind you don't put too much pressure on your struts and there it is and it's sticking out a little as I don't know what you can see that it's sticking out too much now I'll flatten that off with the Dremel so it looks more original I got the other two to do now my finger are just pressing up against the back of the nail I'm just going to grind this off a little do you see that? just take the head that a little off here So it's about right, it looks okay. I'll do the other side here. All wheels on. They're looking way better. Maybe. So I got all the wheels on and they're looking way better now. And I brought them down a little from the original, so that was a correction I had to do. Just wanted to show you that I do go back and correct things sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. And there are the three wheels, all done. Looks good. And when you place it plain down, we'll sit it so you can see it. There we go. She sits nicely at an upper angle, as you can see, which is exactly what you want. So there's my final touches on this. Thanks for watching and put a thumbs up if you liked it. <laughs>